He says enabled us to move forward and to choose to move forward and to allow the Holy Spirit to water our soul so that it's not hard place. It's where the word will ricochet off of it, but it's a place where, Lord, I want fruitfulness. You know, Psalm 1, blesses the man, you know, who, who meditates on the word. And Joshua, it says, meditate on the word day and night, or be like that tree planted by rivers of living water. That's life. That's flourishing. God has a plan, and God is the only one who resurrected from the dead, not Buddha, not Muhammad, no any other God, but Jesus Christ. And that is the one that gives us the peace. That's the one that gives us the grace and the strength to go forward. That He's the only one that can do this. Do you see why the enemy wants us to pull back? He wants us to be political, or he wants us to have anti-Semitism, or he wants us to, to, you know, have racism or hatred or unforgiveness or bitterness or judgment. Come on. We have to wake up because it'll keep us. In, in, in darkness, and that's what the Lord says to me. He says, Tricia, wake up. He goes, you got a choice. You have a choice here. And I said, well, I have to think about it. <laughs> I, I'm telling you the truth. I mean, I, I did. I have to think about it because I don't, I don't know what I want right now. I said, I'm just very upset. I said, I don't know what I want. And I said, so you're God, so you're supposed to help me. Help me get through this. And what I'm doing is what I'm telling you. I said, well, all right, I choose your word. Nothing in me wanted to read his word. And so I did. I would still read it. And I, I said, Lord, you are the word and you're my hope. And I need you, again, to water and to get this hard heart and to make it a heart of flesh. You're going to have to do this. Help me. I don't know how else to do it. 